Hello, my name is Allison Clausen. Um, I have very much enjoyed this class. I will say to the start of this video, I will be looking at my computer for a little bit. I have some notes on here. Um, I just didn't want to forget anything and then have to, you know, look at it or just try to figure out my words. I want it to be quick and smooth because I tend to talk a lot, so this might go over eight minutes. Um, but anyways, um, I had my identity for my papers was a um, deaf black gay man. Um, I named him Elijah. He's 24 um, and I have gotten to know Elijah so well. Um, I've very much enjoyed creating my own little character and putting myself in someone else's shoes as I am not black, I'm hearing and I am straight. So I have never experienced any of the things that Elijah has. Um, so it was really fun to kind of create my own um, person, if that makes sense, um, and have to like really step outside the box and put in some research to figure out, you know, what is my identity? What are my like multi identities? How do they like interact with my deaf identity? And how do they how are they separate and that kind of thing? Um, I also took two ASL classes prior to coming um, to Appalachian State. So I did learn a little bit about deaf history in those classes, um, but it's always good to have a nice refresher. So I enjoyed that paper as well. Um, paper number three, the deaf education and ASL paper, I very much enjoyed. I'm an elementary education major. So anything about education I'm all about. Um, I love looking into education and figuring out how we can make um, the education, education system better and better and better for every single student. Um, so I very much enjoyed that paper. Um, let's see here. Oh, the deaf art and deaf literature paper and the technology papers. Those were interesting to me because, um, I, again, in my classes, we didn't really focus on deaf art and literature, um, and technology. I knew that there were like, you know, closed captions and I knew that there was, um, you know, the telephone thing where they can, um, have the, like what the person is saying on the screen if you're talking to them on the phone. Um, and I mean, obviously FaceTime and, and texting and that kind of thing too, but learning about the different kinds of technology was interesting. Um, and deaf art and literature, I love to write, um, whether it be for a class or for my personal enjoyment. Um, so I love like, you know, really digging into um, what, you know, certain poets meant by their poetry or, you know, what this sentence meant or just hearing people's personal stories. Um, I, that really helped me a lot throughout my papers, like actually reading people's personal stories and kind of picking, you know, bits and pieces from those and using them in my own, um, that helped me a lot. Um, and then the current events and future, I just, I really liked making up Elijah and, you know, putting him kind of where I wanted him to be and where I saw him, um, now and then in the future, I made him a little third grade teacher because that's what I want to be. Um, so, you know, we have some similarities, but I didn't want to put too much of myself into it. Um, you know, because he's his own person. So, um, I very much enjoyed that. Speaking of people being their own people, um, I don't know if that made sense. I very much enjoyed getting to know the other identities during this course, um, such as Jamal. Jamal is 19 years old, an unmarried deaf man. So, um, him and Elijah have some similarities. Um, I think that it was really cool that, um, his parents and grandparents are super close um, because they learned sign language immediately after birth when they found out that their parent or that their children were deaf. So Jamal's parents are deaf, which I think is interesting. Um, and then he practices BASL, which Elijah also practices being a um, black deaf man. Um, and I didn't even know that BASL was a thing until I took this class. I had no idea that that was a thing until um, I had Elijah as my identity, um, and I think that that's so cool that they have, like, their own little kind of sign language. I, I just found that really interesting. Um, moving on, um, Hanus, I think that's how you say his name, um, a 95-year-old widowed man, um, was born to two hearing parents, and he has two deaf younger siblings, um, which again, I just find it so interesting that some people can ha like be deaf and have hearing children and then be hearing and have deaf children. I just like, I, it's just so crazy how that works. Um, anyway, he didn't go to high school, um, or he did go to high school, he completed high school. He didn't go to college. Sorry. 
Um, he met his wife when they were both 20 years old. Um, he kept a journal about his life and how things were playing out. Um, and he enjoyed, you know, reading his journals back and seeing how much of his life has changed through the course of the journals, which I say I do as well. Um, and I think that that's so cool that like my, like me personally can relate to this identity, which I find like, I just think that that's cool, um, and fun. Um, and then moving on to Hannah. Um, the 26-year-old white hearing impaired transgender woman, I think that her and Elijah would be, like, great friends. Um, they're both kind of in the same age range, um, you know, have, like, Elijah's deaf, she's hearing impaired, and then with her being a transgender woman, her and Elijah fall into the LGBTQ plus community, so I think that they would, you know, go to rallies together and, you know, go to the walks and, you know, just really support each other through, um, through everything that's happening these days with the LGBTQ plus community. Um, so I think that that's really cool too. Um, and she is a recent graduate of NYU with a bachelor's in psychology. So again, this relates to me personally because I have a minor in psychology. So I like seeing how like my identity, like Elijah relates to them. And then my identity as Allison Clausen relates to these identities as well. Um, I think that that's really interesting. Um, and then Michael Waters, he is a white deaf blind man, um, 23 years old, um, unmarried and living with his parents. So again, him and Elijah like are kind of in the same age range. Um, he enjoys creating art through knitting and working with clay. Um, he uses assistive technology to communicate with people over long distance. So there again, like there's when that technology comes into play that I have, you know, just learned more about, um, and both of his parents and brother are hearing and they all use protactile sign language, which I didn't know what that was until I looked at his um, identity, which is so interesting. Um, and then the final identity is Megan. I think that Megan is so precious. Um, her blog was lovely to read. Um, 23 years old, she is a child of a deaf adult. So again, this is an identity out of the five identities I chose. This is the first um, child of a deaf adult who is hearing that, um, you know, I had, which is interesting. Um, in college, working towards a psychology degree, again, that relates to me personally. Um, so I just thought it was so cool to look through these and see how like Elijah's identity relates to them and how like my personal identity relates to them. Um, I thought it was cool that, you know, even though we're like so completely different, like all of us are still like so similar at the same time. Um, and then some other things I enjoyed, I loved working with my small group. Um, the people that I worked with were absolutely amazing. Um, and I love the small group's assignments. I loved being able to have the identity papers that we worked on by ourselves, but then also having um, the small group assignments where we could bounce ideas off of each other. Um, I thought that that was really nice to have. And then, I don't know if I said this before, but the emails that we got, I loved being able to look through um, all of the different groups and seeing like if, you know, our group related to any group or if there was a group that had different ideas that we did and, you know, we were like, huh, we didn't really think about that. I thought that that was really interesting too. Um, I have loved having this class um, and I look forward to taking more sign language. I'm an ASL minor, so I'm, um, I'm looking really forward to taking ASL 3 and ASL 4 as well. Um, so it's been a pleasure being in your class. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I hope you have a lovely holiday break.